Hello everyone and welcome to Republic Gaming News, where we bring you the latest gaming news weekly. E even though we missed the last few months, but, th but that doesn't matter, because we're here now. So let's see what juicy gossip we have. So, January PS Plus games are here and if you ask me, they look pretty damn tasty. You have your arcade rally game with Dirt 5, some Phantom Thief shenanigans with Persona 5 Strikers, and some really bloody cool looking co-op first person shooter online multiplayer game with Deep Rock Galactica. It has dwarfs, what more can you want? We finally got an announcement for PlayStation's latest VR with the aptly named PlayStation VR 2. I say the PR department took a while to come up with that one. We got some of its features, the like of the headset that will have vibrations to make you feel more immersed through the movement of your character, and that terrifies me, but we also caught a glimpse of the controllers, which will be called sets, because you'll be getting sensations from them. <laughs> they also showcased a snippet for an upcoming Horizon VR game called Horizon Call of the Mountain. It really didn't showcase much, sadly. Some exciting news with a new Armored Core being leaked through a consumer survey being done by developer from software, where it detailed plot points, showed off a handful of screenshots which you are seeing currently in a very, very primitive form, and some short videos of game footage. Perhaps it will be from software's next big game after Elden Ring is wrapped up. Over to you, Aiden. So, on some disappointing but utterly understandable news, E3 has once again cancelled their upcoming in-person event for 2022 because of the Omicron variant of COVID. The ESA announced on Thursday that, and I quote, due to the ongoing health risks surrounding COVID-19 and its potential impact on the safety of exhibitors and attendees, E3 will not be held in person in 2022. We remain incredibly excited about the future E3 and look forward to announcing more details soon. Is this the end of E3? Only time will tell, but I for one really hope that it isn't. And now for some also disappointing but ultimately infuriating news, we come to Konami. Yep, Konami, owners of some of the most beloved game franchises in existence, they have once again decided to heavily damage the legacy of one of them. Castlevania recently turned 35 years old, and Konami decided to auction off some stupid, scam-riddled, environment-destroying NFTs to celebrate and milk their whales for every penny they can. For anyone that doesn't know what an NFT is, it stands for non-fungible tokens and essentially give the user a token backed up by the blockchain that proves that they have ownership of a digital image. It's a market heavy in scams and pump and dump schemes where a lot of people with zero morals can extort regular people for all their money by manipulating markets. Also, every single NFT transaction uses the same amount of electrical power as the average household uses in over a week. They're a massive stress on the environment. So yes, Konami is selling a few Castlevania JPEGs as NFTs. If you like the art on these, I would heavily encourage you to right click on them and save ads as these are still JPEGs and nobody can stop you. And in my opinion, the only people making money off these is going to be Konami. I dread the day they turn my precious Metal Gear Solid into these awful, awful monstrosities. So if you find any of these stories interesting, don't forget to let us know in the comment section below and also subscribe to the Republic of Players. And don't forget to have a great week. NFTs are bad.